Okay. This is the third problem that I'm going to solve about, about shear and moment in beams, wherein the moment diagram is given and we are required to draw the load and the shear diagram. Okay. Here's the moment diagram, and let's draw some vertical lines. Okay. So, okay. let's draw the moment diagram here. And second degree. Second degree here. And then straight, first degree, this is a straight line. And then vertical line, and then another straight line. And then this one. So we have negative 96, negative 168. Negative one four eight and negative three one eight. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so let's draw the shear diagram. Now again, if the moment diagram is second degree, it means na um shear diagram on a first degree. So from zero. First degree, so probably yung nani ang shear diagram. Para pag mag second degree ka, concave downward, mo fit yan. Okay. So, this is. So, uh, the distance is 8. 8 minus 0 to 8. So, 8 to 11. So, 3 in siya. And then 11 to 6, 5 na. So, dapat ano na siya? 8, 3, and 5. 8, 3, and 5. 0 to 8, 8 to 11, 11 to 16. So, 8 ni. And ang area ni, ang area ni is equal to the change in moment. So, ang, ang moment changes from 0 to negative 96. Negative ang area. So, if we assume this one as y, then solving for y, we have this one. 1 half of 8 times y equals 96. 96, huh? So, solving for y, we cross na to on 2, that's 96 times 2, divided by 8, 24. Okay, so 24 na. Okay, or this one. Sige, sige. Y equals 24. Y equals negative 24. Okay. Now, from 96, nag-drop siya of 160, oh, 96 to negative negative 168. So, nasa drop na, huh? 168 minus 96. Nag-drop siya of 72. So, Kini na drop, kini na drop of 72. Kini na drop is equal to the area sa shear diagram. Negative man, so ang area na negative sad. And since 3 ni, oh so, let's, uh, let's assume na dinit sa 24. Okay, kung 24 sa, example yan na, 24 times 3, okay. 24 times 3, 72 man. Oh, the correct na yun. Horizontal na dali. Oh, para ang area niya, para ang area niya, 24 times 3, 72. 
Momach ani seventy two. Twenty four times three. Now, next. Nay moment. Okay. Vertical line it means na ay. Nay moment sa imong beam. Okay. External moment. So if we're going to draw the beam. Sa kini na point, na yung moment, no? 168, from negative 168 to negative 148. So, 168 minus 148, 20. O na yung 20. So, nag-increase yung 20. Negative 168 to negative 148. Na tayo positive 120. And based sa sign convention, positive moment here, Positive external moment means na clockwise. Natay clockwise moment diha na twenty. Ang unit niya is keeps. Okay. So next, from one forty eight, from one forty eight to three one eight, nasi drop na pila. 318 minus 148. 170. Kining 170 nga drop or change in moment equal na sa shear diagram. So, okay. So, kung mag-rectangle ka, dili siya pwede kung 5 man eh, ba? So, dili pwede nga 24 kay kung ma-assume ka na straight na, niya, kini na yun ya, 24 times 5 is only 120. Na dapat 170 man. So, dapat mas dako pa. Nata, Dere. So, kini na yun ya. 170. Let's assume na Z. So, ang area ni, equal sa, Change in moment. So, 5 times Z equals 170. So, Z is equal to 34. 170 over 5. 34. Ah, okay. So, this is the moment diagram. This is the shear diagram. Aretas, low diagram. Now, zero man, zero to negative twenty-four straight line. It means na uniform load na sa sa ibabaw, uniform load. Walak tay support kay kung naapan sa support dapat ang shear diagram ni mo magapuar na sa kana may support na reaction. Pero wala man, zero, from zero, nag-drop siya dari to negative 24. So, wala reaction dari, wala support dari. It's just uniform load. And eight ni, so kayo na siya ta omega. What's the value of omega? Again, ang area sa low diagram is equal to change in shear. So, ang shear ni mo, From 0 to negative 24, nag-drop siya o 24. Mona siya ang change in shear. So, ang area ni, 8 omega equals 24. So, omega equals 3. So, 3 ni. 3 keeps per foot. Okay. Next. Horizontal, which means na ang sa load diagram, wala yung load. No load siya. Kaya horizontal man yung shear. And then from negative 24, yung negative ha. From negative 24, nag-drop siya to negative 34. So it means na natay concentrated load. Okay? Para dili yung mag-overlap pa. Let's change this one. Okay. 
We have a moment of 20 keeps feet. And not a load na 10 keeps. Not a concentrated load na 10. From negative 24, nag-drop siya to negative 34. So, nag-drop siya og 10. Concentrated na downward. And then, from this point to this point, horizontal, no load. And then, upward, na reaction. Okay? Na reaction. Dili siya, hence, because dere, naman siya moment. So, meaning, fix ang support. Ani. Fix ang support. Not a negative moment. Nga e, uh, moment ka dere of 318. And then, naka reaction na uh, 30. Okay, negative 34 to 0 man. So, mauna yung load diagram. So, kung i-check na to, checking, summation of forces sa uh, vertical. Sige. Kaya eh, uniform load. Negative 8 times 3 minus 10 plus 34. I-check na to kung 0 ba. Okay. Um, negative 8 times 3 minus 10 plus 34. Okay. So, 0 equals 0. Check, no? The other one is summation of moment equal to 0. So, optag moment there eh. And determine if mag zero ba. Okay. Um, the resultant of this uniform load is equal to 24. No? 3 times 8. And ang distance sa dani, paingon sa right support is uh, 8 man eh. So, 1 half of 8, you have 4 plus 3 plus 5. So, 4 plus 3 plus 5, it's 12. Okay. So, direto mag-moment. Sige. 318 is clockwise. So, negative. 20 is clockwise. So, negative. No distance. Ah. Kaya moment na daan. 10, positive. So, the distance of 10 to the support is 5. Plus, resultant, 24. Distance of 24 to the support is 12. So, plus 24 times 12. Check na to kung 0 ba. Okay. So, negative 318 minus 20 plus 10 times 5 plus 24 times 12. Zero. So, zero equals zero. Check siya. So, this is the solution. For this moment diagram, this is the shear diagram. And this is the load diagram. So, I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.